When a patient receives a cancer diagnosis, it impacts them physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Their support system plays a crucial role in their cancer journey. Licensed psychologist Dr. Katie Harry from St. Luke's Cancer Institute joins us to discuss how to provide that important support for a family member or friend diagnosed with breast cancer and the missteps we can take or make, that is, rather without realizing it. Good morning. Good morning. So first question, how important is the role of the support system surrounding a patient diagnosed with or going through treatment of breast cancer? Their support system is really integral to going through breast cancer. No one wants to face this alone. And it usually involves two different components. So tangible support, having rides to appointments, help with meals and getting around, and emotional support. So having someone present with them at treatment, being able to talk about what they're going through, and being able to talk about things other than breast cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Having someone nearby is always important. And some things we say to those with breast cancer out of love or support can be kind of triggering for them. What are the most common things you hear and what can support people say or do instead? The best rule of thumb is really open communication, asking what is helpful and what can you do. Oftentimes we hear that loved ones will say well-intentioned things like, you will be fine or just stay positive. We oftentimes are jumping to reassurance before we validate their feelings. Um, to tell someone that they shouldn't think about it or to always be positive while going through breast cancer isn't very realistic. We want to try to find a balance between being hopeful, but also acknowledging the raw emotions that come with breast cancer. Also saying things like, it's just boobs, or at least you will get a new set. Although well-intentioned, again, it can be extremely invalidating. We wouldn't say this about another body part, and there's a lot of female identity wrapped up in our breasts that can have an accompanying huge sense of loss with it. Definitely. Um, and also fear of recurrence. Um, oftentimes when they're done with treatment, um, the, one of the most common things is still thinking about or worrying if the cancer will, will return or will grow. And again, acknowledging that these feelings are normal, but we don't want to get stuck in that fear. Certainly, you don't want to be too insensitive to your family member or your friend dealing with that sort of situation. What should support people know exactly? There's no perfect thing to say. The best overall message is, I love you, I'm here for you. And to ask, what can I do or what is most helpful? The other thing is to take care of themselves. I oftentimes give the analogy of masks on a plane. Um, so they ask you to put your own oxygen mask on first before helping someone else. The same applies here. It can be emotionally and physically exhausting to be a caregiver. And so you want to make sure that you're also setting an intention to also take care of yourself. Very helpful information. Thank you so much, Dr. Harry. Of course. Thank you. For help managing the physical difficulties, as well as getting emotional and spiritual support for the complex reactions that accompany a cancer diagnosis, go to stlukeskc.org slash supportive oncology.